Hello guys, this is Nari7 back with things you don't usually see, number 4, so I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading much of things you don't usually see, but I actually decided to go on a lower tiers in the form of NU this time, and it actually has been it has been hard to find a battle which I could show all these sets, but I think I finally found the, um, yeah, the good one. So, yeah, let's just go into it. Um, first one is Mr. Mime. Item is Likely, Ability Soundproof, um, it's Calm Nature, Attacks are Reflect, Light Screen, Psychic and Mimic. Mimic is just there for the lols and then I basically made this my specially defensive poke with Dual Screen as Likely. So the next one is Shuckle, Item is Shastoberry, Ability is Sturdy, Impish Nature, Attacks are Rest, Power Trick, Stone Edge and Earthquake. So, Shuckle does get Power Trick, and switching its attack and defense, it basically becomes a monster with that 600 attack. So, then I, if I get on a low amount of HP, I can just go for the rest, get my Chestoberry activated. So, the only thing about this is actually that um, when I go for Power Trick, my defense will be so low that um, basically anything kills me. So, that's, that's kind of the disadvantage right now. Um, so, next one is Octillery, item is Life Warp, ability is Suction Cups. Um, Adamant Nature. Attacks are Seed Bomb, Gunk Shot, Waterfall, and Giga Impact. So, I know that Octillery um, has the same special attack and attack, and I actually wanted to try out the physical Octillery, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Then I have Drift Bleam. This set of Drift Bleam is really cool, look at it. Item is Flame Orb, ability is Flare Boost. Modest Nature. Attacks are Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Psychic, and Paint Split. Basically, what Flare Boost does is that, um, yeah, if you are burned, your special attack is boosted by 50%. So that's pretty nice. And then I have just the Flame Warp to burn me so I can get the Flare Boost activated. So then I have Paint Split because, yeah, Flame Warp is whittling me down and I have to get some HP back and now I go for Paint Split. That's nice. So next one is Tangela, this is a suggested set on the comments, item is Choice Packs, Ability Regenerator, Modest Nature, attacks are Leaf Storm, Ancient Power, HP Ice and Sludge Bomb, because actually Tangela does get Sludge Bomb, which I think is helpful for Grass types. Well, I do have the HP Ice, which also affects Grass types, but I guess that Sludge Bomb, um, yeah, it can hit things. So, um, Tauros is just, I basically made Tauros my physically defensive poke, item is leftovers, ability is intimidate, impish nature, attacks are toxic, protect, return and endeavor, and I actually wanted to see how endeavor would work, just because, yeah, I'm bulky, I have intimidate, so I can toxic that thing, and I, if I get like at 20 HP, I can go for the endeavor, and then toxic will finish up the opponent, so that's pretty cool, and yeah, I can say that, let's just go straight into the battle. So my opponent is going to lead off with Piloswine as I'm going to lead off with my Mr. Mime just because I wanted to get the light screen and reflect up and I had nothing to fear for his Piloswine so I went straight for the reflect as I knew that even if he went for the Icicle Crash I would have been able to take that. He actually goes for the Icicle Spear as I predicted the Stealth Rock but he goes straight for the Icicle Spear and he gets 5 turns of course just because it's my luck and you know how I am. So that brings me down to less than 50 HP, which is uh, pretty bad. So I can go into my Taurus, get the Intimidate off as I get the Reflect up and I have the Intimidate. So not be able to do much to me. Actually goes for the Stealth Rocks there, which is it's okay, but I don't really have a spinner. And I go for the Toxic basically to start whittling that thing down. He goes for the Ascal Spear there, but like I said, I have the Reflect up, he's Intimidated. And now he only gets two times, so Leftovers bring me back at full so that basically did nothing just a waste of a turn so i do switch out right now and go into my um shuckle because i had nothing to fear from this um pilot swine and yeah he was intimidated so in reflect you know what i'm saying he goes for the earthquake and i'm like okay let's just go straight for the power trick to see what i can hit he actually switches into superior which is nice because i went for the power trick superior is more than likely a special attacker so my special defense will be a good still still would be good so i'm gonna be able to take the giga drain like it's nothing retaliate back with the stone edge and i'm gonna oko the superior i do get the crit but that didn't matter at all because like i said my attack is 600, so don't mess around with this thing. And he brings in the pilot swan right now. I don't really want to take the icicle spear because I know that now he's not intimidated anymore. Even with the reflect, I knew I would die because my defense is garbage right now. So I'm going to my on Taurus, get intimidated off. He actually goes again for the icicle spear, like I predicted him to. He goes for and he gets five hits again. No, he gets four this turn. I was thinking on another turn, but or not. I, I don't remember. So. Um, gets 5 turns there, now his poison is kinda being good to him, he switches out into Probo Pass. As I actually think I go for the return just because I wanted to get some damage off and I wanted to see how much it would do. 
I guess I actually uh, at least break this 30, but that doesn't matter too much because I'm gonna have to switch next turn. And leftovers in the next turn will be able to, um, yeah, bring him back to 30 range. So I do switch into my spec Stangela as he goes for the Vault Switch, I think. And he gets a critical hit with the Vault Switch, now I remember. That doesn't really matter too much because I'm gonna easily be able to take that. And like I said, he switches out right now and goes out into his, um, yeah, his Haunter. I have nothing to take on his Haunter, nothing on my team wants to take the Sludge Bomb, so Tangela is gonna have to die. So like I said, it's hard to find a battle with his team because I cannot show all these sets, but that's fine. I can go into my Mr. Mime, um, yeah, because I know that if I get the light screen up, I'm gonna be able to take the, um, yeah, Sludge Bomb. He actually, well, I remember now, um, he goes for the Sludge Bomb, but I was pretty sure because of my... Um, yeah, my HP and my special defense stat, I would have been able to take one and get the light screen up. So therefore, I can go into my Shuckle. He goes for the Sludge Bomb, and I'm like, okay, I can take two, then go for the rest. I'll get my Shadow Bar reactivated. But he gets the Poison! And him getting the Poison mattered, you don't know how matter, how, how much, I mean, it mattered to the battle. Just because he's gonna be able to take me out with the next Sludge Bomb. And it actually didn't even matter, because he gets a critical hit with the next Sludge Bomb. So, um, yeah, Shuckle is gonna die right there, I could have won for the rest, get me back at full, but no, that does not happen. So he switched into Provo Pass, as we go for the Waterfall with my Octillery, Life War boosted, that's gonna do so much into this Provo Pass. Yeah, of course it's super effective, but it's gonna easily be able to two-shot him, which is nice. The only thing bad is I'm gonna have to waste um, two turns, and Life Orb is there to whittle me down. But I'm gonna be able to knock out the Provo Pass right now, and that's what matter, not uh, anything else, so... Yeah, kind of life orb is there, but that's uh, that's still be, uh, it's cool because I'm gonna be able to go for the waterfall and the Armaldo, and I didn't think Armaldo could have done not much to me, so I bring him to 97 HP, so that's nice. Um, he goes for the rock blast, and I'm like, okay, if you only get two hits or four hits, I'm gonna be able to take you, but no, he gets five hit, no four turns. Yeah, he gets four turns, and he kills me. So. He's winning, um, yeah, basically right now because of luck. And yeah, attacks like Rock Blast and Icicle Spear are based on luck, and he has those attacks because he feels lucky, I guess. So I'm gonna be able to go for the Toxic on the Armado, and that's the only way I'm gonna be able to hit him, but I actually pays off because he misses the next Rock Blast, which doesn't even matter because I got the Intimidate on him, so it wouldn't have been able to do much to me. And like I said, max defense, max HP. So I'm gonna go for Protect, basically to stall out some Toxic turns, as he actually goes for the Rock Blast again, but that does not work because I go for the Protect, and I left Leftovers is there to, um, yeah, um, recover me, and he has leftovers also, but Toxic is there, so that's nice. And again, I bring him down to 97 HP, which is nice today because Leg is on my side, I guess. Um, well, not really, but yeah. Um, he goes for the Rock Blast right now, and that's not going to be able to do much because he only gets two hits, which is good. And yeah, leftovers, like I said, is there. This part is a bit boring, but yeah, I didn't really feel like spinning it up. And I know that um, if I go for Protect next turn, he's going to die. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And yeah, um, Armaldo is now out of the way. And Tauros is still on a... Yeah, he's basically at full, well, 95%, something like that. So, like I said, Armaldo does die next turn, which is nice because... Yeah, I didn't really want him to stay in. And he's based on luck, so I don't really like those things. And I go for Protect right now. Um, I didn't think um, it would matter. Um, I got the last Protect because he fainted. So, I didn't know how this worked, but he fails, so that means I... One, um, I didn't got the 50% chance, and two, um, yeah, it doesn't work that way because I went for one uh, earlier, so on. So he tries to go again for Icicle Spears. He's thankfully he's only getting two hits, which is which pays off. But these hits don't matter. In the when he got four turns and five turns, it really matters. So I'm gonna go for Protect. I'm basically doing what I did with um, my Armaldo, with his Armaldo to this Pylos Wine. But the Pylos Wine is still on a uh, good range of HP, so that will take a bit more. I actually tried to go for Protect right there. I had no reason not to try to double Protect just because I could have done nothing to him and I know that he will die next turn. Even if I went for Return, yes, I would kill him. But um, yeah, he's gonna be able to die right now. That means. Well, I guess I could have outsped and go for the return, it would have, uh, have been able to, to kill me, but I actually didn't fought that at the time. But it brings in Haunter, I know that he will more than likely be Choice Car, so I can go for Protect to see what he locks, lo 
he wants to lock himself into, he actually wants to lock himself into a sludge bomb, so that means I can switch out into my Mr. Mime, father Mr. Mime off, basically, because Stealth Rocks, it will kill him, so, yeah, Mr. Mime does go down right now, but now I know that he is locked into sludge bomb, I can switch into my Drift Blim, and go for the Psychic, and kill that thing, but he actually makes a good play right now, and goes out into his, um, yeah, his Swallow, because... Yeah, Swallow can take, easily take a Psychic, plus I don't have my Flare Boost activated. Well, not easily, because it does, oh, it's a solid to hit KO, but um, he gets his Poison Orb activated, as I now get my Flame Orb activated. But he's gonna be able to one-shot me with the, uh, with the Brave Bird, which didn't matter, because even if he wouldn't be able to um, kill me, he could have just brought in his Haunter, go for the Sludge Bomb, and on the way that Brave Bird will left me at, I would have easily... Um, yeah, he could have easily killed me, so I can bring in my Tauros, but there's nothing I can do because um, he's gonna be able to lock himself into Sludge Bomb. I can go for the Protect to um, yeah, to waste some PPs on um, Sludge Bomb. Yes, PP. So, um, yeah, that doesn't really work out. And that was a battle. I kind of, um, yeah, lost this one, but it was still a pretty interesting battle with a pretty interesting team. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you can feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, you can leave suggestions down below. And you can say like, hey 97, do a set of this poke and do a set of that poke. Try a physical this or a special that. Um, don't entirely give me the set because I don't really appreciate it. Just because um, if you give me this, the entire set, like the V spread and stuff and the attacks, um, I'm doing nothing. I'm just using what you did. So um, I don't really want to do that. I want it to be me making the sets if I make myself clear. So try only to say, hey, 97, make this poke and make that poke, make special this, make the tank that, and yeah. Um, I think you get what I'm saying, so um, yeah, leave a like, I think I have already said that. You can check out things you don't usually see number 3 on your screen. I hope you enjoyed the red ration, so yeah, I'm gonna be able to say that. Until next time, later. You know what that is? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs>